quick one. Hi, Julie here, Skype Coach. Just um, showing you, look what still works in 7. This again is a an old Skype room, uh, not a cloud-based room created in new Skype, but one created in old Skype, P2P based. And uh, I was able to set Dave as helper. Let's see if he can post now in the room. The room options are set to um, joiners become listeners and um, but they can read and history is disclosed so I, I go ahead and I put the room guidelines um, in the room welcome new members guidelines equals this is internal guidelines but uh, easy for me to get to <laughs> when whenever I need to even even though read on people who are on read only they can't chat yet um, are not able to post in the room it's because it's uh, joiners become listeners so they can read <laughs> or listen but they can't post unless they're an admin now let's let's see what um, the profile shows for administrators and helpers are not administrators so he may not be able to post in the room as a helper We'll have to check that out. Hey, I'm in a call now with, with Dave, who I just made a helper. We're going to show you it didn't work. But one of the things he's complaining, and we're talking about all the changes, is that in the upper right of a chat, see, I'm in a, a chat here with with myself, and, <laughs> and um, no, it's, yeah. All right, where is screen share at on this now? And um, you have it, it's the call buttons are in the upper upper right. So add to group call is what I'm seeing because I'm in a call. So back over oh, to Dave. That's at the bottom. And no, in a when I'm in a call, if I open up an, somebody else's, it's um, here, no, I can't use yours. Let's see. Uh, did I hang up on you? Uh oh. <laughs> Let's try it again. Hold on just a second. Okay, I hung up with Dave so that I could um, so that I could show you what he's talking about. If you want to make a call with somebody, it's up here. That's what he's talking about. And you have to click that in order to... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. You have to click it in order to have a choice on whether... Um, on whether it's uh, you're going to call a phone number or a um, or a Skype call and I'm going to show off look you can put pictures in rooms now woohoo this is the vortex with the five rings spinning vortex <laughs> okay let me call Dave back okay here here's what I'm talking about he's got um, I've got a different options here if you see a little download then you can call with um, other options besides Skype if you have their phone number you can enter their phone number if they haven't listed it in their profile and um, then you'll have a choice that's what he was talking about let's try calling him call him on Skype I know <laughs> um, the share button is at the bottom it, like it was it's still the plus um, and uh, you can, oh the plus sign yeah the plus sign and you share your screen uh, full, uh, okay. full screen, screen is okay. now in the upper right by the way so that did change also everything else yeah. is the same if you've been on current Skype okay so he's going to share right. screen now let me make that bigger hold it, really oh no that's a, that's a Skype account of mine so you want to find the one with the three headed <laughs> right here. Yeah. I got it. Right here. So those are P2P rooms when they're when they have no picture, and it's just the three-headed white, faceless people. <laughs> okay. Right. So, and I can type in that room. Um, I guess it changed because before I couldn't type in the room. Now I can. Okay. Let me see. Let's try it. So maybe helper role still lets you. It looks like it's letting you. But go ahead and say it's work. It's working. Hello, everyone. It should let you, if it's letting you get that far, it should let you send it. Yeah, it's working now. Uh, before, I, I couldn't send anything before in the room. But when I right. sent you the message in that, then after that, it started working. Right. 
because you read the guidelines <laughs> and and followed by instructions <laughs> that you could yeah. post in the room um, private you can't post in the room but you could private message me if you if you're in a room like this that um, where application applicants are listeners it's a read only right. room I call it unless you are a helper role now do do slash um, get G E slash G E T space um, role R O L E not roll L L will get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That can happen. You're a helper. <clears throat> okay. So you can post. So ha that still works. We okay. again this is a this is an a room created in an old version of Skype, so um, and it's not just an old room that was created before the forced upgrade in August 2014, but it's a P2P based room rather than a cloud based room. So okay. one of my lessons, one of my points here is that if you want full control of your room, if you want all these possible options like locking the picture in topic um, so that members of the room can't change them. Or, um, be, or being able to edit or remove messages from members or permanently right. ban a person. It, to fully moderate a room and to be able to show it as moderated, um, you, you want, hey, did you see this? You want to you create a new rooms in old versions of Skype. So um, click, do this, I just want to show you as a little gift, a little Skype tip for helping you out here. Dave, click on the room topic. You'll see if you mouse over it, there, it, a line is there. If you click it, it opens up a profile for the Skype room. Isn't that interesting? Yes, it is. That We used to be able to get to the profile, but hardly every, anybody knew about it by clicking over on the left in the recent tab or contact tab. Um, but yeah, links are there with a little arrow. Um, if they're joinable, you have a little link symbol to the right of that blue thing is a little link symbol symbol for the join link. Right, so, that one right there. Yeah. Right. Copy conversation link. Oops. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> it opened up something. Yeah, go ahead and, and uh, go back to the room. Oh, I went to the YouTube. I clicked on that one. Oh, it went to YouTube. Right. Yes. How to get right, the guidelines. <laughs> right how to get the guidelines. So in a read-only room, a person can't even do slash get guidelines, which is what this video shows. Um, so in a read-only room, you have to... You have yeah, to, I hit this arrow right here, and right. that took me to YouTube. Right, because what's in the link, and I think that's interesting they've added that arrow for a link. What I put in the topic of my rooms is how for how people can get the guidelines within the room using the slash get guidelines command. And that's a very short video on YouTube about how to do that. But within a read-only room like this, you can't do that. So I post the guidelines in the room and it's very convenient to have them already in the room to copy and paste when new members join. So that in a read-only room, the way I have this room set up, you can uh, uh, any of the administrators or moderators, creators, etc., can easily do the get guidelines and and get those. So you probably can get the guidelines yourself. You can type right. you can type that in there, and go ahead and type get guidelines down there at the bottom, and see the guidelines anytime you want. So you, as a helper role or a moderator, even though you're not listed at, in as an administrator. You can type in the room. You forgot the I after the U. And you can get the guidelines and post those in the room for the new members. Especially because a room like this won't allow you, allow a person to even post that command in the room. So that would be helpful if you would do yeah. that. <laughs> if you want to help me more, you can do that yeah. in the room whenever new people join. Okay. And that Skype networking project room, which which is under development, so that's why it's on read only. But I will be giving people lots of ideas about how to network on Skype in there, uh, as a member of the club, the Skype networking club, which is a part of part of CUonSkype.com. Right.
anyway, thanks so much for helping me. This has now become almost a 10-minute video, so <laughs> I'll no see problem. you on Skype. <laughs>